So it's kind of, I want to jump up on this thing. Oh! You want a single? No, down? I'm just a short little Frenchman. You look like a little kid. I'm five foot ten. I swear. That's what the lady at SGI said. Relax. Relax. It reminds me of uh, Zoolander. Relax. Don't do it. Da -da 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 -da. No? Welcome back to Mainville ATV and Outdoors, where we do all things all terrain. Today we're focusing on the Mad Ramps and we're converting it to the sled version of their product. Uh, if you haven't seen what we've got here, we actually have a video for that and I'll leave it in the description down below so you can check out what we've already got. But the focus on today is to change this into the sled ramps. The big reason why I want to have like a one product that does everything is exactly that. I don't want to have a ramp for this, a ramp for that. And on top of that, I can make use of this product if I only want to bring one sled somewhere. So our 900 Ace Turbo can just go in the back of this instead of our big red trailer. So it can be very time consuming and very wasteful to bring my big red trailer unless we have a crew. Uh, so we're going to be working on this today. We're going to get these box opened up and uh, see what we got. Yeah. So once you've already got your mad ramps, this is the conversion kit you're seeing here. There's two boxes. Uh, not sure exactly what's in them, but we're going to find out. Mad Ramps sent this out to us, so uh, thanks again Mad Ramps for amazing product that solved a big problem for me. Um, so let's get this opened up and see what we got going on. Now, last time we were sent a Mad Ramps product, their packaging was intense. Looks like they did another fantastic job. This is the most aggressive unboxing ever. <laughs> yeah. huh. <laughs> from, from the dryer. I need a knife. I need an adult. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Is that how that goes? I'm really disappointed I grew up in that era to be honest. Bed protectors? I had no idea those were coming. That's a cart, sorry. Okay, so I had a look at some of the instructions. You're gonna get one pamphlet for the safety glides inside, so that protects your box from your carbides. And you're gonna get another instruction set for the actual ramp installation. So the first thing it says is to grab one of your ramps and you actually flip it upside down, and there's a good reason for that. The backside is gonna stay the way it is so you can grip with your ATV or side-by-side -side into the back of your truck. And then this side is actually going to have all the protection for a sled, allowing you to do either or. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is find all your components. You start off with this one bit here. It's tapered for the edge, so your ski doesn't actually bite into the aluminum. And then you have a bunch of these little guys here. You have seven per side, and they just protect each rail. And you get a bunch of self-tappers. You have a couple of these uh, T25 Torx self-tappers, and you just go along all the way up the ramp. So that's the first thing we're going to do to both ramps because I know how to do it and I uh, might as well get both done now and then uh, we move on to some other bits like the pedestal and a few other things. There's quite a bit of little pieces but once it's all together you'll understand. So as you can see, we got all of it done. So there's the seven little pieces down here and the eight little entry glide piece. So that's sorted out. The next portion, we actually have to take some of this off because we're going to be putting in the pedestal. And what this is actually gonna end up doing is holding up your track as far back as you'd like it, uh, which is quite useful. But in order to do so, we have to pull off the mount for this and get that off, slide the new one on, torque it down to 70 foot-pounds, and as they recommend, they do recommend red Loctite. So I'm gonna do that on the parts that won't be removed, because I'm considering the ATV season. When we get there, the pedestal is gonna be taken out. The mount will stay, but the actual rod that will come up and hold your track will come out. Yeah. 
The next portion of this is you're going to have these glides that cover your actual ramp portion. This is what's actually going to get removed if you're going to use it for ATV use in the off season. Um, but basically you have these long threaded rods and they're going to fit through the channels. And there's no way that I did this off camera so I knew what I was doing. But they go all the way through and with any luck you'll just get it done the first shot. <laughs> so at this point we have all of our gliders on. That's all solid. We have new plastics in here just for the, the center track. And then we have a pedestal kind of mocked up. Everything here is still very loose uh, just because I need to know where my sled's gonna end up and how I want it. It says right in the instructions that a lot of this stuff is very adjustable depending on you know if you have a summit or a touring or whatever you've got. You can go from 50 inch width all the way down to 40 whatever. But uh, at this point, we're going to get the center track bar on and get that mounted up. Uh, and then we just have a few more things to do to tidy things up and uh, we're moving along. Yeah. No, this no. way, this way. Yep. <laughs> All right. That shouldn't hit that light when you have that extender. You strap your sled? Uh, I, on camera, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now that we have the center ramp done, the pedestal set up, Everything else is pretty much ready for reassembly. The last portion is actually this. Th this meets the ramp and goes over the gap of the truck box. That way everything is covered and your truck is fully protected. So we basically have to put these guys on it. And once that's done, we can uh, show you how this product works at this point. So we can start cleaning up. We've basically got the last bit. This is the transition piece that goes from here to the actual box of the truck. So we applied a little bit of heat to this because the fitment was kind of wonky. Uh, we just had to apply some heat on this so that we can fold it over nice and have it perfectly flush. Uh, so very happy with that. And uh, we tighten everything up, torque, a little bit of Loctite here and there depending on what I want. And then we're gonna pull it outside and show you the complete thing. So as you can see, this is the finished product. This is the uh, complete conversion kit for the snowmobiles on the Mad Ram system. The original system was awesome. I really enjoyed it. For me, it was the perfect solution. Uh, I could see how this system doesn't quite fit everyone's bill, but it's certainly a problem solver for a certain criteria of people. So I really enjoyed this product. It's very robustly built. I'm very happy with it. It's very safe. It's never going to kick out on you. So when Mad Ramp sent out the snowmobile kit, I was also very ecstatic because that means I have another option instead of my big red trailer or buying another trailer. Uh, we move so often that we can't have that many trailers. The one and done is the only way to go for us. So uh, very glad to have this. The bed's going to be completely protected. Um, there's lots of components and pieces to this, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab a sled out of the shop and just run it up inside and show you guys what that's all about. And that pretty much sums up the video. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can also contact Mad Ramps themselves at madramps.com. I'll have a link down below for you guys. Um, at the end of the day, I'm, I just, I'm excited to have this. Uh, it allows me to go wherever I need to go with one sled, one truck, high speed, low drag. So I also want to touch on, uh, if you do like this video, please, please leave a like. It's a huge help for us. And it's obviously free to do. If you're not subscribed yet, like the 80% of people who watch us are, make sure to hit that subscribe and little notification bell. That would really help us out. If you want to help us out even more, we also have merchandise available at dirtylife.ca. I'm going to have the link in the pinned comment down below. And uh, thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get a sled in this thing.